My name is Megan Stewerman, and I am an associate pastor at Knoll Memorial United Methodist Church in Shreveport. I was a person that during college, or before I ever went to college, but um, during college and after, I was always involved in the church. And I believed that the church needed lay leaders, I still do, the, to do things. And I thought that was what my, my role in the church was. I had other jobs outside of the church. And as I moved back to Shreveport, with my family after being gone for about 10 years. I was serving in my, at Knoll actually, and I came into the associate pastor's office um, and it had been on my heart and I, was, I had young children, I had a lot going on. And I said out loud to Reverend Mimi McDowell that I believe that God is calling me into ordained ministry. And as soon as I said that out loud, there was this relief. Um, and I had her affirmation. And as I told my family and those around me, they were like, okay, finally, I'm glad you see this too. So I felt it myself. And I also was affirmed by those around me and, um, and then started pursuing the path um, for ordination through the um, commissioning and classes and mentoring and every step along the way I've had support. So, and here I am. Well, it was before I was in ministry, but when I was starting uh, my undergraduate work at Clemson University, I was at this first Friday parade that they have for all incoming students, a welcome back to, to school. And these women came up and they said, um, are you interested in trying out for the very first rowing team at Clemson University? We're looking for tall, athletic women. And I checked both of those boxes. And I went on from that conversation to try out and make the team and spend my next four years as an athlete at a college on a college campus. And when I look back, I say that because <laughs> when I look back to moments where I was trying to figure out what to do, I had these God-given gifts that some are noticeable, some are not so noticeable, but I needed someone to take them and show me what I could do with them in the hands of someone who knew. And um, I see that in ministry. I see that in those around me that um, at every turn, whether it was um, a job, whether it was um, a leadership role, whether it's being a mother, being a wife, um, all of those things, I see that these are gifts that I have and I can see gifts in others. And when we put those to the use of bringing God's kingdom here, it is amazing what we can do. So oftentimes I look back at that and notice that is one of the kind of formative moments or memories of my past. I'm thankful for um, God paving the way for this for me. Um, I'm thankful for the people God has placed in my life. I remember when I started um, saying this out loud, I sat down with my husband. I was like, are you, do I have your support? Are you, are you good with this? Um, and he said, yes. And that has been true throughout this whole process. Um, he is a huge supporter of mine and asked my children the same thing. And they have supported me and extended family um, my parents, um, I think my mother is running carpool um, as we speak <laughs> um, in my absence. And certainly people like um, Mimi McDowell, who listened to me and supported me. My senior pastor, Max Zinner, who is such a great leader and friend and um, a great teammate in ministry. Um, I'm surrounded by wonderful friends and family who support me and listen to me and um, help guide me down this path. And I have no doubt that God has placed every one of them specifically in my path and I'm grateful for them.